Lent Day 38. It is about perseverance. Because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. James chapter 1 verses 3 and 4. Quick view. When it comes to your faith, it will take some work, but press on. It is worth it. Question. Why is our faith tested? Unfortunately, we are in a world governed by sin. Unfortunately, we have a sin nature. These create stumbling blocks in our pursuit of God's kingdom. Remember that Satan is out there trying anything and everything to make us fail. He knows how great our reward will be, and he doesn't want us to enjoy it. We need to put our faith and trust in Jesus. We need to press on. We need to rely on God's strength. We need to take pride in every inch of progress. Application We had the pleasure to host Christina's college roommate, Michelle, this past week. She originally met Christina at Ohio University. Christina graduated from OU a few years ago. Michelle didn't quite make the four-year plan. In fact, she is finally graduating in exercise physiology. We won't say how long it took. It doesn't matter. She made it, and we are so excited for her. It's been a journey, especially the past few years. She was working full-time in Maryland and commuting, yes, I said commuting to Ohio for some of her classes. I'm sure Michelle had her down moments when she questioned herself, her circumstances, and all other stumbling blocks. The great thing about all of this is her perseverance. To me, that is more impressive than the degree itself. This is a characteristic that you like to see in people you hire. But in this case, the degree is also fantastic. Congratulations, Shelley. You deserve it. What a great parallel for our spiritual life. Many of us easily get frustrated in our pursuit of Christ. When there are distractions, we can get discouraged. When there are roadblocks, we desire to stop. When we see others moving faster than ourselves, we question our capabilities. All of this is normal. All of this will happen. Our focus should be on the end goal. Our our target should be to continually make progress. Some days that may only be one step forward. Other days it may even be one step forward and two step backwards. The key is to take heart and pride in that one step forward. Michelle could have given up when others were moving faster, but she pressed on. As we spent time with her through her journey, I sensed that she was frustrated, but she also celebrated those small movements forward. It should be about perseverance. It should be about putting frustration in the rearview mirror. It should be about celebrating progress. It should be about having others help you persevere. It should ultimately be looking to Jesus Christ for all focus and direction. Think about your journey. Once you give it to Jesus, you will find strength and resolution that you have never would have found in yourself. God, we can only persevere through your strength. Help us through this journey that we call life. Help us to be focused on Jesus' direction. Give us the power of the Holy Spirit to press on and to celebrate victories, however small, and to give us strength to endure. Lord, we thank you for Shelley's accomplishment and ask that you bless her as she starts her next journey in life.